Well, here we are on the fifth hole. It's 11 yards wide, the actual cut surface. There's a bit more space over there. You never miss right. In the summer, those trees suck all the moisture out of the ground. The shade stops the grass from growing. You've got to come up and the green's running away from you. So your chances of an up and down there are very slim because your chip is simply going to land on the green and charge across. Actually, I'm lucky. That one stopped. They don't normally stop. Let's pick that up. The wind from the tee is usually down and out of the left side. So I would always favour the left side of this green when I'm back up on the proper, it doesn't matter on the winter tee because it's only 110, but when you're all the way back there at 146 with the hang time in the air, all things can go wrong. So we're going to try some chipping up because that is a feature of Tewksbury Park. So we've got a ball that just tumbles over the edge. We've got a ball that goes to the bottom. And in the summer when this bank is rock hard, quite often if you hit this bank, it goes all the way over there. So let's go and do some chipping, shall we? Now the tool in your armory that you need for this is a sand wedge, not a lob wedge. See, a lob wedge has only got four or five degrees of bounce. When you're down there at the bottom of the hill in the heavy stuff, what you need is bounce. Now you can open up the lob wedge and get more bounce, but by the time you've got 12 or 13 degrees of bounce on your lob wedge, the club face is pointing at the sky. So let's tackle these one at a time. And this is going to be awkward because we're on a slope. So our first one, we're only just over the top, but we're on an upslope. We need to hit this with a square face. You don't need to put any extra loft on this. The shot's got enough loft already. Now if I extend that leg, this is where you need a cameraman. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this in the air. I've got my sand wedge and I'm going to hit it with a square face. I'm not going to add any loft at all. Looks like someone's been here already. Oh yeah, I can find, see the hole from here. No worries, this is about nine yards-ish. Samway square face. I'm not going to do anything special with my wrists or anything like that. Just a simple pop. Kind of jab the bank a bit. It's run out to about three and a half feet. See, because we're off the winter tea, I haven't been down here in ages, so I'm a little out of practice. Right, now we're at the uh, old gold. Right, now we're at the bottom of the hill. The green is, um, well, I'm five foot six, so the, the green's about six and a half to seven feet above us. I'm going to play a more aggressive shot with my sand wedge. I'm going to open the face just a hair, just to add a little bit of bounce. I don't need the loft, I need the bounce. If you remember, if you've seen my chipping video, the bounce is the way the trailing edge is lower than the leading edge. And as you open the face, it gets lower still. That's why I say with a lob wedge, to get this trailing edge as low as possible, your club face is pointing straight up. It's no good, unless you're on the PGA Tour. So this is a much fuller swing, more aggressive swing. But I'm, I'm turning it in, I'm turning my sand wedge into about 60 degrees of loft. But it's the bounce, not the loft. I 
and you don't need to hit this as hard as you think. See, that's as hard as you need to hit it. Otherwise, you're, you're across the other side of the green and going in the, in the charity bunker. Right. Now we are getting harder. Because now we've got a shot of about 25 yards. Again, I'm going to open the face, but not as much as you think. It's only a small amount, and I'm doing it to get the bounce. It's all about the bounce. So it'll be a longer swing. Now, some people are... Uh, they have a brisk swing. Can't even say it, can I? They have a brisk swing, so they're short and they're fast, and that generates spin. I'm more of a long, slow swing, lob it up, land it soft sort of guy. We're all different. So I'm just going to open the face a fraction, get a bit more, bounce on it, and not hit it as hard as you think you've got to hit it. Honestly, these are little shots. It's only 25 yards. And I've overhit that. <laughs> Don't know why. Simply out of practice. So let's go and have a look, because I know where the first one went. Oh my. So, that was the first ball. Yeah, that, that was the first ball, which is about four and a half feet. That was the, was that the second ball? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Again, that's four and a half feet. That may have been the last ball, not sure. Or the second ball. But that's only nine inches. You'd be happy with those, wouldn't you? So when you're chipping up like that, out of the rough, sand wedge, not your lob wedge, open the face, when I say open the face, there's a square face. I open it that much. I open it about 10 or 15 degrees. And that bounce lowers. And that's what you need, is a bit of bounce. It's the same in a bunker. You know, I see people going in a bunker and they open the club face really wide. Well, then they put on too much bounce and they can't get out of the bunker. They knife it because it bounces. Especially this time of year when the uh, when the bunker sand is wet.